Okay, we can we continue. Ugh, I can't believe I woke up again. Something has been nagging at me all night and preventing me from sleeping. I have this vague feeling that something is terribly wrong, but I just can't figure out what it is. Oh no. No, no, no. This is very bad. Daphne, Shaggy, Scooby, get up. We have a terrible problem. A problem? Like what is it? Yeah, what's going on? Well, remember how you guys, along with Fred, depleted tons of the products on the shelves here? For example, Daphne, you tried out the makeup, Shaggy and Scooby, you ate a ton of the food, and Fred drank a whole bunch of the beer. Yeah? What's the problem with that? It's not like they're gonna know it was us. Uh, actually, they are. The employees enter the store quite a bit before the customers, and once they see the food, makeup and liquor aisles ransacked, they're immediately going to look for other people in the store. I'm sure they'll be checking behind stacks of products like this. Sounds about right. <sighs> toilet paper in the process. All in all, if they're actually looking for us, the chances of us being caught are pretty good. And even if the employees can't find us, they'll probably get the cops on the scene to do another search, and we'll definitely be caught by that point. Wow, the amount of logic in this particular GoAnimate video is off the charts, man. Even though, like, two seconds ago they said GoAnimate logic. I mean, she's right. Plus, we don't even know where Fred is anymore. So he could be out in the open for all we know. Zerinks, like that is a bit problem. I guess we need to find Fred and leave like right now. And that brings us to the biggest issue of all. The store gets locked whenever it closes, so we're all trapped in here. Oh no. This is really bad. Yeah, you think? Well, let's just find Fred and see if he has a solution. He probably won't, but it's worth a shot. And I guess we need to regroup with him before the store opens anyway. Speaking of the store opening, can someone check the time? I want to know if we need to rush or not. Let's see, it's just past six. Is that too late? I don't know, it could be. The store opens at seven, but I'm not sure how early the employees arrive. We should probably move fast just to be safe. Like I sure hope Fred nearby. Yeah, I definitely think you should move fast. Me too. I think we should go just to be safe. Like I sure hope Fred's nearby. Me too. I think we should go back to where the original fort was first. Maybe he's still sleeping there. Good idea, Daphne. That's why we're gonna stand still and talk instead of move. <laughs> Thank goodness, he's here. Hey, school. Like wanna prank him by waking him up the same way we did last time. Haha, uh, yeah, let's do it. Shaggy and Scooby, are you guys serious? Now is not the Okay, you guys, I'm sorry. You get, what do you think is going to happen when he gets up? You think he's just going to be okay with it? Or you think he's going to pummel you again? Time to be goofing around. <laughs> he caught fire. I didn't know he was the human torch. Flame on! Shaggy and Scooby, do that one more time and I'm going to destroy that lawnmower and make you pay for it. <laughs> I'm not saying that's a good thing, but I think that's a step down from getting beat up. Fred, we're sorry. I tried to stop them from doing that, but they wouldn't listen. Anyway, we've got a pretty severe problem that we needed to come get you for. Well, what's the problem? Why on earth did you idiots have to wake me up? Um, well, crap. Yeah, that's a bit of an issue. None of us know what to do. Do you have any ideas? We have no choice but to break out of the store. We need to run to the front entrance like right now, smash through one of the glass doors, and make a run for it towards the mystery machine. Wait, but that'll damage the store building itself making us get into even more trouble should we get found out. Well, does anybody have an alternative? Yeah, I guess not. All right, then let's do this. Everybody run to the front entrance. 
It's good time to run, coward! Wait a minute, like how are we even gonna break this glass? Well, Shaggy, since you scared me awake just now, I'm gonna be smashing your head up against the glass to break- Ah, <sighs> there he goes again. Fred hasn't been a psycho for five minutes. God, I, we can't have that in one of, in a video, right? Hopefully giving you a concussion in the process. Like, are you serious? Of course I'm serious. Do you really need to ask that, Shaggy? <laughs> Serious. Ouch, 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 like my head hurts so bad. Alright, everybody run to the van. Man, I'm so glad we got out of here without getting caught. Like same. And although we were able to stay in the store for a full twenty, and the, uh, okay, so how are you gonna get away with uploading it to Instagram? Twenty-four hours. It was still fun to spend the night there. Oh my God, Daphne! I think you jinxed it. Oh no! I hope that's not the cops at the door. It was still fun to spend the night. And although we were able to stay. Man, I'm so glad we got out of here without getting caught. Like same. And although we weren't able to stay in the store for a full 24 hours, it was still fun to spend the night there. Oh my god, Daphne. I think you jinxed it. Oh no. I hope that's not the cops at the door. We'll see. Hello there, sir. Are you aware of the current condition of the local Walmart? Um, what's, that what's that one officer looking at? He's like looking into my soul. Well, I, no, I don't know anything about that. Are you sure? You guys didn't do the 24-hour challenge in it last night or anything? Because it appears somebody did, and then they broke through one of the glass doors to get out. Um, no, we didn't. We, um... That is oddly specific for them not knowing. They have to know, right? Like, why would you... You didn't do the specific thing that you actually did, right? No? Hmm, I guess you're innocent. Next person. We're just, like, hanging out here last night. What makes you guys question me of all people anyway? It's the huge sign in your front yard, of course. <laughs> oh my freaking god, which one of you absolute brain dead idiot gang members put that sign there? Like sorry Fred, it was me. I thought it would decrease the chances of the cops showing up at our house and busting us for doing the challenge. Shaggy, lay off the weed, man. <laughs> you idiot. What on earth made you think that putting a huge fucking sign in front of our god house, denying a very specific illegal activity would decrease the chances of the cops showing up? All it did was draw tons of attention to us, and also, the cop. And now you've just condemned it, right? We're listening when you replied to me, and what you just said pretty much gave us away as the ones who did it. You suck. Well, looks like we're all screwed now. Screwed? No way. We weren't going to arrest you. We were just wondering if you guys did it because we think the 24-hour challenge is freaking awesome, and you guys are too- now, if you'll excuse us, we have to go ignore Boris being a complete psychopath, too. If you did it. Wait, seriously? Yeah. Call us if you ever do another one, because we'd love to join. Anyways, have a great day. What the heck? Well, gee, like I think... The that's, that's about my view on this situation, too. Sign worked after all. Shut the f*** up, you dip it was not the sign. The cops wouldn't have even come to the door in the first place had you not put it there. And even though we got off the hook, I'm still going to give you a concussion for being so stupid. Uh... <laughs> what the f I just, yeah, here, let me give you brain damage to make you not do stupid shit again. What could possibly be backfire about that? Fred's a freaking asshole. Mm -hmm.